And this one between boxes from Ukraine and Azerbaijan. And this one. 20 boxes started in the men's super heavyweight bracket. Only four of them will progress through to Tokyo. So the winner here through to the final four and will be declared an Olympian. What an intriguing contest we have in prospect here. Sotne Ragava, the 28-year-old, born in Georgia, representing Ukraine. His opponent is the slickster, Mohamed Abdullayev, 22 years of age from the, Azeri cap the Azerbaijan capital, Baku. Seventh place, a quarter-finalist in the 2019 World Championships in Yekaterinburg. So contrasting styles because Ragava demonstrated real composure yesterday and adept punch picking as well. Abdulayev, so wonderful with his movement, so relaxed and able to score with whipping left hands like that. Lovely calculated, intelligent boxing there. Saragava inching forwards, being busy with his hands. Left jab to the body in response to the flashy right from Abdulayev. It was a left jab to the body from Ragava. He comes forward behind a double jab right hand, but was wide of the mark. Targeting the body effectively is the man in red, perhaps in a bid to slow down the movement, which is such a prominent part of Abdulayev's armory. Yeah, he's a good mover for a big fellow, isn't he? Oh, that's a solid right hand catching the advancing Rogava as Abdulayev was just leaning back into the ropes, looking for that shot once again as he momentarily half turned southpaw and scored with a good left hook before skipping off to his left. Lovely technical work there. Rogava not as busy with his jab as he was yesterday. Nice left hook to the body from Abdulayev there. He's a good punch picker, Ron, isn't he? The man in blue. Very good punch picker. Doesn't waste much either. And even in terms of movement, he moves only when he's ready and at his own speed. He's not darting in and out. Very economical with everything that he does. Double left hook was blocked by the gloves and forearms of Rogava. But he maintains terrific composure. Turning southpaw now. Dropping his hands, trying to present a different look, whips in a left hand, which causes Ragava to adjust his shorts as though he was hit below the belt. Well, Ragava's shorts a little bit high. Takes another left hand to the body from Abdulayev. Maybe his body shape, but his shorts appear to be a little bit high to me. Wouldn't disagree with you, Alex. First round in the book. Close round. And a very good round of boxing from the man in blue for my money. Rogava continued to press, but this man was able to find holes in his defences with some eye-catching singles, particularly the left hook to the body. Movement was good as well. From the big fellow in blue, look at that movement for a man his size. He'll be looking for more of that in the next round. And there's confirmation of a, well, 4-1 split. Judge 2 preferring the work of Rogava. 4-1 in favour of the man in blue. Yep, not hugely clear-cut that round. But I certainly think it, it did go the right way in terms of the judges scoring. Both guys touch gloves. Not something that you need to do. In round two, so a good show of mutual respect. Have these guys competed against each other in the past, Ron? Or is this the first time that they've boxed together? Now, this is a battle of reigning national champions, but again, given the disparity in age, Abdulayev had so much success in the under-22 bracket, the youth bracket, where he was champion in 2017. And, of course, in that era, yeah. this man was already a senior, so there hasn't been too much there you go. of crossing paths at this respective stage of their careers. And all of that experience in the youth ranks, in the under-22 ranks, 
it all leads to moments like this where you are facing off against hardened elite mature athletes and he's just scored with a good reverse one two there power driving right hand and left jab regava but all of those build-up tournaments this is what it's preparing you for Alex. it certainly does it certainly does and believe me when you get there you know if you're ready or not Both men took national senior titles at Super Heavyweight in 2019. It was a seventh for Abdulayev, who looks for that flashy right hand once again. First national title for Ragava. Nice head movement from Ab Abdulayev there. He's some sharp counter punching as well. Although Ragava using his experience and his knowledge just to try and trap Abdulayev or set traps, but he's a very, very difficult man to trap and pin down. Just initiating a clinch there before spinning his man and pushing him off. Scores with a left right to the body. The right hand appeared to get through. And then an accurate left right combination. The right hand spearing the gloves of the man in red. And is the movement of Abdullayev just beginning to slow a little bit? He's got a fantastic poker face. He really doesn't betray much with his expression. But Rogava having more success, getting closer and working away at mid and short range. Good right hand to the body from Abdulayev. Up on his toes once more, but look at the big intakes of breath. He is taking through that open mouth, whips in that left hand to the body to Abdulayev, and then wraps his man up, scores with a cracking right uppercut, but then looks to initiate a clinch once again. Well, there's always a danger of getting tired here, Ron, when you're being consistently pressurised. Especially with fellows these size, you've got to take that into account. Abdullayev uses up a lot of energy. Very, very physical boxer, always moving. Terrific left, right, left from Abdullayev, who despite the fatigue that he's feeling, as is Rogava, both men breathing through an open mouth, but just able to produce those explosive spurts of activity. Sportsmanship in evidence once again as they exchange a touch of gloves at the conclusion of the round. What a round! And a high caliber round, they're just about to say it on very, very high quality. But it's a man in blue that's got the tactics right, or it seems to be. And if he can hold it all together in the, in the next and final round, I'm quite positive that we'll see him go out with the victory. For my money, Rogava enjoyed more success in that round. Not enough to take it, but he has taken it for two. two of the judges once again. But he had more success from my vantage point in getting closer and landing with some of his shots. Can Abdulayev keep that movement going or will he be drawn into more trade-offs with the feet planted in the canvas in this final three-minute frame? So into the third and final round then, the winner goes through to Tokyo 2020. And what a start by the man in blue who scores with a left-right combination, pinging the, pinging the head of his opponent and then making him miss. Rogava looking to close the gap once again. Abdulayev demonstrating the movement that has served him so well in this tournament and indeed his Olympic style boxing career so far. Can he keep it going? Can Rogava close the gap and increase the pressure? Nice jab. And this is where Abdullah is at his best. That right hand over the top just inconveniences the man in blue. Rogava looking to cut off the ring, but what a counter left hand from Abdullah. The more ex the more notable of those shots in that trade-off. Quick three-punch cluster as well from, from Abdulayev before tying Regava up. Tactics have been spot on here. And Regava's case, for me, is just not through enough shots. Not worked hard enough. Can he find something in as we approach the midpoint of this third and final round as he looks to continue to press? Well, it has to run not able to maintain the pressure that he requires and we've got yep 
A cut to the left eye of the man who was in the ascendancy. So the action allowed to continue. A minute 22. As he scores with a good right hand and then skips off to his right once again, Abdulayev. He won't want that cut to get any worse. Was unable to see the referee's gesture as to whether that was caused by a punch or a clash of heads. And even though going deep into the tournament will affect the seeding, from Abdullah's point of view now, he just wants to be declared the victor and go through to Tokyo 2020. And then let's see what his team can do with the cut if he's able to continue in the tournament in a bid to improve his seeding. But Ragava is also in pursuit of that Olympic place. Good right uppercut to start that combination from Abdulayev. Ragava looking to get his hands free and working away, but he's being tied up by the man from Baku. Well, the cut eye continuing to leak once again. I think the referee just wants it cleaned, really, Ron. When he's asking for the opinion of the doctor, no doubt the doctor, as you've pointed out, Alex, will tell him to take his arm off the top rope. But over in the neutral corner, <laughs> Regarve has got his leg on the middle rope as well. As well as his hands on the top ropes. No, allowed to box, good. But you just saw on that final image how wide that cut is. Closing seconds of the contest. Beautiful punch picking from Abdulayev on the back foot, upon his toes now. Knows that he's inching ever closer to what we feel is not only the finish line, but the winning post. Ragava desperately trying to free his hands to land that shot, but he's going to run out of time. Left hook was the final action of the contest. Well, is the referee thinking that's the ring belt for ring B? But I don't think it is. He didn't call time, the referee. He was just trying to separate the two men. And so the clock will have continued to tick. So a little bit of confusion at the conclusion of the bout, but the bell has sounded. Both men have retreated to the respective corners. An incident filled third and final round where Abdullah sustained a cut to his left eye. Quite happily, none of them complained that they, that they went back there, Ron. <laughs> I think they were both pretty glad. I think it's the man in blue who yes. will have his hand raised here. Certainly will be for me as well. And there is confirmation. Mohammed Abdelayev of Azerbaijan is an Olympian, a split decision victor over Sotne Ragova from Ukraine. A very hard-fought contest indeed, but his quality shone through, as did his courage and determination. Adversity of a cut left eye in the third round, but overall, the course of the three three-minute contest, it was he who demonstrated the superior ring generalship and the superior quality. Regarva gave it everything, but it wasn't enough. What you said, Ron, the ring generalship, that was all Abdullayev tonight. He got his tactics spot on. And he never gassed either. And he's booked his spot to Tokyo. Amazing. This is how he did it. Abdulayev taking it on a 4-1 split. Four scorecards, Alex, of 28-29. That's how close it was.